Today I want to talk to you about uh, the cost of living here in uh, Huahin. Uh, as we all know, uh, Thailand's a, a great place to live because of the friendly people, uh, low crime rate and the climate. Uh, but how cheap is it really to live here uh, as an expat? Um, living not on your holidays, but living here from week to week, 52 weeks of the year. 24 hours a day. How much does it cost to live here? Now I did a video when I first started this uh, YouTube channel, uh, seems like forever, a long time ago, but uh, it was only a couple of months ago. And I did the, one of the first ones I did was about my condo, how much it cost me to live in this condo uh, on a monthly basis. And that was a when I first started as I said and it wasn't a great video uh, I've learned a lot since then and I've still got a lot to learn I'm still uh, learning all the equipment but uh, I'm gonna take another video uh, today uh, and walk around the condo and give you an idea what you can get for uh, the amount that I pay for rent and I'll also explain the costs uh, involved for water and electric Oh, apart from the condo, uh, which is your main expense here, your rent, uh, food and drink is, is very cheap here. As long as you go to where the Thai people shop uh, and not shop where the tourists uh, go or when they're here, they're not here at the moment. So there is most places where the tourists go aren't even open anymore. But uh, when you come here on holidays, things will be different. If you want to shop in a tourist area, you're going to play a lot more uh, for the same goods um, as if you if you shop around and go outside of town a little bit you'll find um, you know markets that cater for the Thai people um, not for tourists I often buy my vegetables and fruit from um, the, the markets uh, in uh, Hua Hin uh, the, the local shopping and you know they're uh, half the price is what you pay uh, in Tesco Lotus. Tesco Lotus is convenient you go and do your shopping and you pick up fruit and veg there but I try not to I try to buy all my fruit and veg at the market it helps the, the people as well it helps the Thai people where Tesco Lotus is a big organization um, you know the people are suffering here so if, if I can I'd rather give them the money than, than a big organization uh, so after my rent, electric and water bills, I can live very well here on a few hundred baht a day uh, for food and drink. Uh, that's not when I'm not when I'm travelling. It's different because I'm paying hotels and I've got to eat in restaurants, perhaps, so I've got to um, uh, pay more out uh, than I normally would because I don't know the places to go and uh, where the bargains are. Uh, but my food shopping here in Hua Hin, when I'm living here and not travelling, is always less than uh, 1,000 baht a week. Uh, quite often it's a lot less. Um, and my rent is uh, 15,000, as I said uh, before. Uh, water and electric is about 450 baht a month combined. Uh, petrol for my little motorbike is around about 50 baht. A week or a couple hundred baht a month uh, if I'm not traveling too much if I'm just going to and from the shops and you know to the beach a few times or a temple or wherever but if I decide I want to go on a big long trip to a national park then obviously I'm going to pay a bit more but on average it's around about 50 baht a week so 15,000 rent uh, 4,000 for food 450 for electric and say a couple hundred baht for petrol comes to about 20,000 baht a month. Uh, that's approximately, what, 800 Australian dollars, perhaps, 600 US, uh, 440 pounds a month. Obviously, I go out to fancy restaurants or bars, I'll spend a lot more. Uh, but with COVID, that's not happening in Ho Hin at the moment, uh, most places. Restaurants and, and bars are closed down, um, but when they open up again, I'll start going out again, and I'll obviously start to spend a lot more. That's the problem when you, you know, you live here. Um, 
you know, and you say that, uh, you know, the exciting life you can have, you can go out to nice restaurants, nice girly bars and talk to girls. And uh, I tend to spend a lot more uh, when, when COVID isn't here. Uh, but this is how much I normally spend, uh, or I've been spending with COVID uh, being here for the last 15 months. So yes, you can live very cheaply and still live very well. Um, I'm not sk I, uh, skimping, I buy when I want to buy, I go out when I want to go out and I, I live very well, I live a good life uh, on a percentage uh, of what I would pay, uh, be having to pay if I lived in Australia. I think I said once before when I lived in Australia uh, most of my pension was taken up just on rent and electric and, and utilities. There wasn't a lot left uh, at the end of the month for enjoyment. Where living here, uh, the rent is a, only a small part of my pension uh, and uh, the cost of living is, is, is so low that my pension lasts easily. Uh, I don't have to dig into savings or investments. Uh, I can live on my pension. It's only when I travel, then I have to, obviously I've got to pay hotel bills, I have to pay for petrol, I have to pay for um, you know, going out more because I'm, I'm travelling around. Uh, but even then, I still don't, uh, it doesn't break the bank. So yeah, if you're thinking about coming here, uh, either to retire or to um, uh, live as a digital nomad uh, and work from a computer in a coffee shop, um, or if you're just planning on coming on holidays, it's a very cheap place to be, it's a beautiful place to be and the people and the weather is fantastic. This is where I live, this is my condo, it's called The Breeze here at uh, Kaltakiab. It's a nice little block, um, very quiet at the time because of uh, there's no one here really. Um, when Before Covid there was a lot of tourists stayed here, uh, there was a lot of Airbnb um, were rented through them and uh, also through letting agents. So there was always full of uh, you know people from Germany, Sweden, England, all over the place, all over the world, USA. Uh, but now, um, I, unfortunately, I'm the only one staying uh, on this floor. I'm on the sixth floor, and there's only me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's seven uh, apartments here, um, and I'm the only one. I see very few people around. There's probably only out of the, the whole of the blocks, and there's uh, four of these blocks with six, seven levels each. Um, there's four of them and uh, I hardly see anyone around so most of them are empty but I'll show you around I did this before I know but I, I didn't do a very good job of it so I'm gonna show you again so this is uh, one bedroom and this, the door doesn't go back it's a one bedroom condo um, big enough for me uh, big enough for two people it comes fully equipped with all the cooking equipment um, microwave oven, uh, fridge, very good fridge, uh, all your cooking equipment, all the things you need, pots and pans, plates, cups and saucers, glasses, um, all your cutlery, um, cooking equipment you might need, uh, coffee maker, so all this comes inclusive of the price of the rent. It's got a, I'll just explain about the kitchen a little bit. It might, this might seem like, a, 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 you know, like a, by European standards, this kitchen, you'd think, oh, it's not workable, but it is. This is your normal Thai kitchen. Um, a lot of Europeans, they, when they buy a place, they get a proper oven and everything, but this is your standard Thai uh, cooking equipment. Uh, they do a lot of their cooking by wok and, and rice cookers and things like that so they don't need a lot 
and I've adapted. I'm a chef, so I adapt quite well. Uh, I've adapted to using just those, and I've been uh, uh, also use the microwave a lot now, which I didn't used to use. Um, so this is what you get. You get a nice dining table, uh, chairs. You get your lounge suite, coffee table, TV, um, smart TV, a video player there, some speakers. Oh, that's my little uh, Buddha uh, temple there. I give him some fruit and some water, keep him happy. If he doesn't eat the fruit, I can always eat it. Uh, then we go back this way. We've got uh, the bathroom. Standard bathroom, no um, window here, so it's quite dark. Um, you need the lights on, but it's a, a fine, hot, good hot shower. Um, all the things you need in a, a bathroom. Uh, it's not a place you spend a lot of time in, but as long as it's clean, tidy, and neat, that's okay. And then we've got a, a one bedroom here. Uh, the bedroom is quite large comes with an air conditioner and a fan, a wardrobe, double wardrobe and, and just a nice comfortable bed, a fair sized bed and this uh, bedroom overlooks the swimming pool or one of the swimming pools, there's three swimming pools here so, and that's my little balcony over there so it's a fair size for one person or two people. It's uh, it's good. It's adequate. I don't want anything too big. I don't spend a whole lot of time here. I suppose six months of the year I'm travelling. Um, this is where I sit outside and do my work, my editing on my YouTube channel, or when I'm writing books, where I sit down and type away for hours and get frustrated because <laughs> I can't get a storyline right. Um, we're getting, heading into the rainy season a little bit now, so it's not quite so sunny today. But uh, still a lovely day, not rainy. And if you look down that way, I don't know if you can see it, but the beach is down there. I took you down there a few days ago, so you know how far that is. But I'll take you for a walk around the condos block, and you can see exactly uh, what the facilities are and uh, what you get for your money oops I better go and get a pair of shoes on so uh, this condo um, I, I rent, started to rent two years ago I've been here two years now I only thought I'd be here about six months but time flies and because of Covid uh, you know it's put a lot of uh, restrictions on on what you can do and now I need my phone where did I put it the thing with old age you oh here it is it's in my pocket <laughs> okay let's head out I'll show you around the, the complex uh, it has three swimming pools there's one down there for children this one here down there, down those stairs, there's uh, toilet facilities and showers. This is the children's pool, it's only a couple of feet deep. And then you've got this very, very long pool, probably about you know, maybe 20 metres long, 15 metres wide perhaps. But very, very, very big. Um, and always kept so nice. And, uh, always warm because the temperature even in the rainy season it's quite hot here and the gardens are kept immaculate by the staff here as you can see there's the block i live in is this side that's one block two blocks three blocks four blocks and six blocks of, of uh, condos so Oh, that's a lot of people, but there's no one around. Uh, most of them are, are sitting empty. This has water features, they're not on at the moment, they come on at different times of the day. 
and this leads down to the gym and the other two pools down the end there they're two smaller pools um, for the people who lived at this end of the the condor but they can obviously I can use those pools and they can come up and use the, the larger pool it's just more convenient I suppose if you're down that end to use the the two small pools so this is the gym and so little ponds lily pads the water features are going here the wall there with um, cascading water coming down all very tranquil across the little bridge to show you the the gym nicely equipped and kept immaculate as well it's cleaned every day and, and it's disinfected every day because of covid it's got air conditioner and fan i never use it i swim in the pool i've come down here a couple of times but i'm not a gym person i suppose if i was with someone you know sort of exercising with someone it'd be a bit different but i find it boring just standing on one of them treadmills and walking i'd rather walk on the beach so, when we come around this way this, this is the exit the two pools are up there the two pools where the water's cascading down uh, you've got to go inside to access them to get on the, the next floor up. Uh, down here is the down here is the exit or entrance if you're coming in. They're all uh, key carded, controlled, and there's 24-hour security at the front of the condo and at the back. They check everyone coming in, everyone going out. That's the office, and that's the road that leads down to the beach. Down that way, that's what I took yesterday. That's the road that leads down to the beach, but the gardens are immaculate. And then we've got a little media room here for Wi Fi, internet, and if you want a little meeting, I suppose, there's free books if you're into reading but you'll find most, a lot of them are in German and Russian. People leave them here when they finish their holidays. And then we go around this way, and go back inside. One second, the fan wants me. Oh, I got one. Sorry. Oh, okay. Yeah, huh? yeah. Sorry. Okay, so got my face mask on. Uh, very uh, down on it here. Uh, even when you're sat walking by yourself, um, you got to wear a face mask, which seems a bit ironical. But um, best to be safe than sorry. So we go around here, and there's a. Uh, Another pond, the Lee Pond, and this is the children's play area. Um, before COVID, this would be quite full with little children who come on holidays here with their families. And uh, the weekends, when people come down from Bangkok, uh, there's still sometimes some kids use it. So it's a lovely apartment block. I like living here. Uh, it's very well kept, as you can see. I mean, even me just walking outside there, um, you know, I was told to put a mask on. Uh, they're very protective. Uh, they take your temperature when you come in. They leave um, the, uh, the stuff to put on your hands, the alcohol to rub onto your hands, um, the disinfectant. 
uh, they leave them at all doors so that when you come in you can from being outside you can make sure your hands aren't carrying any germs uh, and this this condo cost me 15,000 baht a month but I could get it for less I think I told you before in the earlier video the very first video I did of this um, the rents have gone down so much in the last year since they found out Covid wasn't going away and people stopped coming um, the rents have gone down a lot I think I could probably get this place for around about 10,000 a month now um, but the reason I don't is I like the people I'm renting from, from and I know they are going through some terrible financial difficulties because of what's happened um, I don't want them to um, have an empty flat and still having to pay all the maintenance and all the costs involved um, so I, I've just wore it I think okay 50, I think it's a fair rent 15,000 um, and it's very um, easy for me to make, to make that payment and I think it's uh, more than worth the value I also pay about 100 no around about 50 baht a month for water and my electricity bill depending depending on um, if I go away um, which I, I do often but if I go away and uh, I not here then I hardly pay any money obviously for electric last month there was no bill I was away for the whole four weeks it was about a small bill just because the fridge was running um, but normally it's around about 450 baht a month for my electric take this off he's not here and you can't see it's so normally about 450 baht a month for my electric uh, 50 baht for the water so that's 500 and 15,000 baht rent that's 15,500 baht I pay to live here in this complex so a very good price and you get a lot for your money you know you, you've got your gym you've got three swimming pools and you're right near the beach you're only across the road and a little pathway down and, and you're at the beach so it's for me it's it's a very economical way to live and uh, it could be even less as I say if if um, when I come when I uh, eventually do my big trip around Thailand I'll obviously be giving this up I won't be keeping it going while I'm away and then when I come back I will probably look for somewhere else I probably won't come back here to this um, complex in fact I don't think I'll even be coming back to Huahin I'm looking more at uh, Koh Samui or Krabi um, or place some places like that you know sort of a uh, little bit more tropical um, and especially now because there's not many tourists whereas I course movie before it put me off a lot because when I went out it was there was lots and lots of tourists and uh, I look I don't get me wrong I love tourist towns but uh, it's nice when you can go out and you've got you know the, there's not so many people crowding there's not so many queues you don't have to wait so long so that's my plan is eventually I'll leave here once uh, Covid is restrictions are uh, uh, eased up here I'll be leaving and doing a big trip which I'll tell you about later so uh, please subscribe and if you don't mind if you could watch my videos all the way through it all helps with the analytics of uh, YouTube um, I'm not sure what, how it all works even now I'm, it makes my head spin all this uh, technology but apparently I need uh, to get recognized by YouTube I need a lot more hours of people watching so if you can watch them all the way through I need um, people to subscribe and it doesn't cost you anything when it says subscribe it doesn't mean to say you're paying a subscription no it's it's all free it just means that you're pushing the button and saying yeah you want to see the content of my videos and if you push like that also helps so please um, um, try to uh, help me that way uh, support me um, and I'll try and get you the best videos I can I've got a big trip planned 
uh, as soon as this COVID dies down a little bit. But in the meantime, you can expect lots of good videos from around Ho Hin area. I might even drive up to Bangkok and do some videoing up there. Uh, but just the surrounding areas while COVID's uh, got its evil grip on us. Um, and then soon, soon as COVID goes, I've got a big plan uh, that I'm, I'll tell you about at a later date. So stay tuned and uh, thanks for watching. Bye.